Hello! As you can see, I've got the covering off of the uh, Nissan Leaf battery pack. Um, I am missing my, uh, I guess they call it the emergency disconnect or service disconnect. Uh, that's actually the fuse uh, that should pl plug in there. I guess that's accessible from actually within the vehicle. I got a few little dents here and there. Um, I've tapped on it. It looks worse than it actually is because it doesn't, it doesn't, it doesn't sound like it's actually hitting anything, like it's not hitting one of the modules inside. So it took a little damage. This was out of a wreck. Um, so I guess on the, uh, I was, I flipped it around too, so I got the connector on this end now. Uh, the connector took a little bit of damage here on the outside shroud. This is the shielding. The two high voltage lines are, are inside there. You can kind of see if it'll ever focus. Maybe. Well, maybe it won't focus, but... <clears throat> so, um, I was trying to find the pinout for this, and I, uh, of course, emailed the Selector EV list, because some of the people on there have Nissan Leafs, and uh, a few people emailed me <laughs> the uh, service manual here, and uh, as you can see, it's pretty big, 904 pages, um, but it's got all the information, and specifically the pinout of the round connector down here. The only problem is, this is for a 2012 service manual, and this is a 2013 battery, and it is different. They have a different connector on there. And we can, we can see that just by scrolling down to the uh, electrical harness. You can see there's two connectors on here. They just have the big high voltage connector and that round connector. And if you look on mine, I've got this extra one over here. Not sure what that is, I don't know if that's like for uh, supercharging or whatever. It's got a couple big pins in the middle, and there's even two little pins above it um, for some kind of, I guess, to detect. Maybe it's a relay, I'm not quite sure. But um, the big problem is the pinout is different. And if we scroll back to this page, we can see this is the pin out here. I've got a lot more pins in my connector. So here there's showing a 22 pin connector. This has got a bunch more in it. I wonder if there's a way, oh wait, I know what we can do here. Is that better? You can see there's a lot more pins in mine. I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, so there's a lot more pins. It's a different connector, different pin out. Oh, there you can see the two big posts in there and then what we've got in that one. You can see the two little posts up at the top. Some kind of service, or I guess to know the connector's plugged in or not. Not quite sure, but uh, yeah. So I got that. So what I did, is I, um, you know, I, I got one of these little, uh, this is a, uh, from a PC, it's uh, one of those little reset switch. Man, you know what, I need to buy a real camera, because the cell phone doesn't like to focus. But you know, it's just, it's the two pin connector it used to, for building computers and things like that. And I just went ahead and plugged it in. These all look like they're .1 spacing. Connectors. I guess I can turn this light back on here. So I got that plugged in right now, and then I, you know, just kind of glued it together to be able to read the uh, resistance. And we're getting 123 ohms, which usually you have 120 ohm termination resistor on the CAN bus, and that's what I'm trying to figure out is where the CAN bus is. So this is what I came up with. Um, so here's that connector. It's kind of tilted sideways like they have it in theirs. And if you look at the, the pin out here, it appears that what they have listed as pin 1 and 2 on theirs is the CAN bus. But on mine, pin 1 and 2 are not the CAN bus. It looks like pin 4 and 5 are actually the CAN bus. And so what I think is, it is a mirror image. 
So, what it looks like is, you know what, let me turn the brightness down on this. Because it's washing out the water. There you go. Okay, so if we, if we look at what pin 4 and 5 on there, that corresponds, that's 120-ish ohms, which is usually what the CAN bus termination resistor is. And that's what they've got listed as pin 1 and 2 down here. And then some of the other ones, like say 10 and 11, is the pre-charge relay. All right. Well, I found on mine, if it's pin 7 and 8, it looks like it's got around 100 ohms, which is probably the coil of the pre-charge relay on pin 7 and 8. And if we go to, say, 15 and 16, 18 and 19, those end up having the same resistance values on them, around 35 ohms on both of those pins. And if we look over here, 17 and, uh, 14 and 17, so 14 to 13, and 17 to 16 are the two uh, contactors. And you can see on here, it's 13, 14, 16, 17 are the pins. And if you were to look at it as if it's a mirror image, it looks like that's what's going on. And then pin 21 is up here, and that's actually the uh, ignition relay. So when you turn the ignition switch on, that closes and tells the pack that you've turned the key switch on. And on mine, that's pin. Tw looks like it's pin 29, because I measured about 50K of resistance between that to this group right here. Pins 10, 11, and 12 are all connected together. Uh, where are they at? Here we go. They're all grounds. And that jives with over here. Theirs is 6, 7, and 8 are all connected to ground. 6, 7, and 8. So it looks like my connector, it looks like it's a mirror image of what they've drawn here. It's just kind of flipped. But, I mean, it's not like we're looking at this connector backwards or the plug side, because this should be the connector side. And on the, this connector in here, you can actually see the little pin numbers. The pin numbers that I drew on here are what's actually labeled in this connector. So, I think I have it all hooked up right. <laughs> I've done all my measuring. So I'm going to go build a cable, a little harness, wire harness, that will let me hook up a uh, one of my GMOC adapters and that's actually designed to run a free charger <laughs> and a couple contactors and everything and supply 12 volts key switch and everything so I think I'm just gonna hook it all up make a little wiring harness hook up the CAN bus get everything up and running and uh, get the computer out here and see if we can't get it to actually start talking so yeah so that should be a uh, video coming soon so thanks for watching